family members of the victims of the 1985 mid-air bombing of Air India Flight 182 mark the 36th anniversary of the worst terror attack in Canada's history with visits to memorials and through online events on Wednesday. Indian officials also laid wreath at memorials in Ottawa, Toronto and Vancouver. June 23rd marks the anniversary of the terrorist bombing of Air India Flight 182 that killed 329 innocent people, including 268 Canadians and 24 Indians. This terrible incident revealed to the world the heavy costs that Khalistani terrorism could inflict on humanity. Today, I join the families and friends of the victims and share their deep sorrow and pain as we pay homage to their memory. On June 23, 1985, Air India's Boeing aircraft named Kanishka was heading from Montreal to London when it exploded at around 31,000 feet of the Irish coast as a bomb planted inside the plane by Khalistani terrorists went off. The attack claimed 329 lives. 36 years ago, a friend of mine uh, was on uh, Air India. Her name was Brenda Prada. Um, and she, uh, she's been gone for 36 years. Um, but she's not forgotten. Neither is her sister or her father. Um, we all miss them dearly. Um, and we can't forget that this was a, an act of terrorism that was um, against Canadians. Um, and I really do think that uh, we really need to remember it. A lot of people don't think it was against, terror, uh, against Canadians because they were South Asian, but they were Canadians. And there were non-Canadians on board too, and they mattered just as much. My father was in, in the flight, in the flight, uh, that was 30 years, 36 years ago. Um, so we lost him then, and that's my mom. And uh, we come here every year, we gather here as a family and do a memorial service. So there's a big connection within the family members, but because of COVID, um, we couldn't do the service last year, but today at least we could come in and uh, as a family. Canada se India ja rahe the, raste mein khatam ho gaye. Hame to darshan bhi na hue kya kare. The terror attack is recognized in Canada as a National Day of Remembrance for victims of terrorism. The commemorative services took place under the shadow of a recent revival of the pro-Khalistan movement in Canada. There is a widespread feeling among Canadians, particularly South Asian Canadians, that Canadian government's action against this terrorism could have been different if the victims were white Canadians.